roll lens is too much at an angle, so it started, but then it died. I don't have enough gas to gravity, so no run at the moment. Murray, there's some kind of thing with that Yard King. They wired it in such a way it won't run unless you're sitting on it. So that one I can never really leave running. I tried looking through the wiring. I couldn't really figure it out without disabling the safety. So I'd rather have the safety. It doesn't much matter. I'll let it idle out while it's running. So not the end of the world. Do a quick bath a little bit. It's working now, so it's getting dusty, sucking these leaves up. But a little colder instead of the bad intake it had. Then got my wheel horse on on that duty today before I put it away. Bull is probably going to be parked up front. John Deere's going back in the shed, and these two behemoths along with the bowlands are ready for winter now we just need some winter cold this morning but it's about getting to be about 60 now I haven't tried starting that snowblower yet on my back I don't know if I want to pull start tried to winterize this and that wasn't fun because even with the primer I put on it's still hard start it's like the auto choke kicks off too soon. That's something to play with, but since it's not going anywhere, we seem to be put on the back burner. But there's my lineup. The keepers anyway. My Suburban, the big GT. Our first basically restore, and that's why I keep it. The John Deere. The most recent keeper restore, the Bowens like the Suburban this is a survivor so I don't think I'm gonna mess with it it's so clean for its age like 85 I think the Suburban I think somebody did repaint that hood you can kind of see like right there I don't know if it'll show up in the video or not but you can see like a layer of paint and this stuff here, which I thought was the original paint, but it probably isn't. So somebody repainted the top. I'm got a little crack and the grill. I don't know if that paint's peeling off or what. So we might do that. But I don't really think it needs it. You know, for being older than I am. About 47 years old. I don't know. There's a part of me wants to do it up like the Bolins, but I don't know. Part of me thinks it might be sacrilegious. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, it'll be gonna try to use it more now. But there's the fleet, and haven't used this one in a while. Gave it to my neighbor, and he stopped using it. They never. It was brand new, I guess. The guy bought it, and he was a little mentally challenged, so he didn't really use it. So his brother-in-law gave it to me. And I don't mean that sarcastic or meanly. No, he's, he had some mental issues, and a real nice guy, just, I don't know. It must have been an impulse buy or something. And... So I'll use it on this for now, then go park it, and then probably finish up with the Murray. 
keep it outside until it's ready and then I'll see if I can fit that in the shed too. But everything's cleaned. I always like doing at least one of these. So, oh well. Uh, then you got my uh, two for sale. And this, we just got back from my co-worker. I guess they killed it and didn't want to mess with it. He lives in a pretty crappy area too, so he thought stuff was stolen off it, but thankfully no. Only thing we had to do was put a new battery in it, starter. Turns out the real issue he burned up that starter gear was the fuel filter was dead clogged. So will change that and now she'll fire right up. I let it run out of gas, so. But these three are for sale. Well, two are. There, them two are done. This one, we gotta buff it out and let's check it out. And then that big boy will be next. Most of this stuff's all gonna sit for springtime anyway. That the carburetor still doesn't act right. I parked it back there. That might be its sitting spot for winter. Don't know yet. Oh well. Well, let me start putting all this stuff away now that I got my video done and try to pack it all in.